Hi everyone, welcome to my video. Today I'm going to show you how to install Bind9 on an Ubuntu server and uh, use it as a forwarder for our local network. I will demonstrate how to make uh, domain resolutions using our server and a client that will be my host operating system. Okay? Before we start, let me remind you, you can subscribe to my channel and press the bell button to get notifications about all the videos I'll be publishing. Now, let's do it! Let's start by installing Bind9 in our Ubuntu server apt install by 9 this is a very small package it's quite fast to install by 9 is a very well known dns server that's why we are using it today has a forwarder for our uh, local network i will enter uh, the etc bind uh, uh, subfolder so we can uh, check uh, the basic configuration has forwarder the file name is uh, named.conf.options and at line 13 you see that I have these forwarders directive I am enabling now I will delete that uh, 0000 IP and put Cloudflare and Google as my primary and secondary DNS servers after I'm done, I will save the file and exit the text editor so we can proceed. So the main goal here is to uh, use our own resources to uh, make these domain resolutions. Let me just check the network pinging Cloudflare. We have a route and Google. Yeah, okay. Both uh, servers are responding so we are uh, sure we can rely on them so uh, ubuntu server has its own uh, stub for dns resolution it's a, a, a service that is included with system d called a resolved d we need to disable this service in order to put bind 9 being used as our main dns resolution service to do so i will start by uh, checking systemd minus resolve d service it is running as you can see and stop it now that i've stopped it i will also disable preventing this service uh, from starting at boot time now let's open another file in a, a slash run slash systemd slash resolve and that file is the stub minus resolve.conf inside this file we have to change our local name server to 127.0.0.1 this is our our local host IP address by doing this we are changing from system d resolve d to bind 9 for our local resolutions i am done leaving the the folder now to slash etc so i can show you another file a very important file historically the main uh, dns uh, resolution file uh, in uh, linux and this file now is a link so as you can see it is linked to the file we have just edited let me restart bind now that we are sure our file is correctly edited and then let's test it i am making a, a resolution for linux.org and as you can see i'm using a local ip address 127.0.0.1 i will flush the cache local cache I do this to show you the difference between having a domain address uh, in my cache with this uh, amount of uh, time under than 15 milliseconds of query time is uh, regular is normal 
but now I have zero because the second time I make this resolution I have it stored locally in my cache. Now let's go to my Mac OS, this is my host operating system and change DNS servers to my local one. So this uh, 192.168.52.1 is my Ubuntu server IP address in its proper uh, host only uh, network interface that connects to my host operating system, my ENP0S8. So I'm allowing the firewall port, port 53 in UDP protocol, the new status where you can see it is already added. And let's start uh, making some tests on this uh, configuration. Instead of using my server, I will use my client to make some DNS resolutions. I am uh, using TCP dump to check the traffic and that macOS terminal I am making a new query specifically to my server for the same domain linux.org as you can see we have some traffic passing uh, behind with TCP dump and let's check again so you can see let me move the window a little bit you see the query resulted in a primary key with the, the specific uh, IP address for this domain let's make it again 51 milliseconds that's the time it took to give me an answer let's try a new one Ubuntu 64 milliseconds this time every time I make a new query you see traffic behind my Mac OS is asking my by 9 servers now kernel.org 180 milliseconds second time much less time so this uh, uh, time around 40 to 50 milliseconds uh, is related to my virtual machines okay I have a, a little bit higher uh, query time now let's make the test again 110 milliseconds if I repeat the query, let's wait a little bit. This is related, as I, I, I explained, to the virtual machine lag. So if you do it with real machines, it will be much lower. Now, let me also tell you that you can add a secondary server, in this case Cloudflare, so you can contact Cloudflare directly in case our bind 9 service goes down okay if it is unresponsive or unavailable you have another server to rely on finally let me show you with my browser how is it to navigate on the web with this uh, DNS solution I am opening linux.org web page for you as you can see all the DNS traffic goes to my Ubuntu server but there is a difference because my web traffic goes to its normal route. Okay, so Debian also and finally kernel.org and for example raspberry.org. So I am using two different routes, one for DNS using another machine in my local network and keeping the regular web route for my web traffic and this is it my by 9 server working inside an Ubuntu server in this case in a virtual machine but you can use it for example in a Raspberry Pi if you have one and decide to use it for this service so guys I hope you have enjoyed this video I will keep talking about this subject in further videos for example, creating forward zones and reverse zones for you. But meanwhile, please subscribe to my channel and press the bell button to get notifications about all the videos I'll be publishing. Happy New Year. Thanks again. Hope to see you again on my next videos. Bye bye.